keeps making our videos only made for kids, guys. So this content is made for an audience of 13 and above. Not made for kids. What's going on, guys? It's your boy TG2 here, back with another awesome episode of the Geoverse. Shout out to my homie Beyblade Road for this absolutely insane episode request. In today's episode of the Geoverse, we have the strongest bay in the world, Ice Titan, also known as Twitter Rhinus, versus the legendary Blados. All right, guys. So we have arguably the best Beyblade in metal fight history. I made a video on the top five strongest Beyblades in the world. If you guys haven't already, I highly suggest you guys check it out. But Guys, I strongly believe that this is the strongest Beyblade in Metal Fight history. So it's time to put it to the test. We have 11 legendary bladers here, ladies and gentlemen, including Diablo Nemesis. And we're gonna have all of these awesome bays go up against Dual Uranus. We are gonna leave Dual Uranus on his defense mode for the entire episode. We are gonna be switching the modes on all the other bays though. It's gonna be absolutely insane, guys. We are gonna be using the BB10 Stadium. It's gonna be crazy. If you guys have any battle requests, unboxing suggestions, or any video suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys are new to the TG family and you enjoy these videos, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and click off so you're notified every time we upload a daily video. Also, click that link in the description below. You'll be taken to a page with all of our socials i highly suggest you guys check it out or you'll be missing out on some insane content but other than that ladies and gentlemen players all across the world i think it is time we start this absolutely insane episode in three two one let me know if we should do a part two with all these other metal fury bays and just have him fight the entire metal fury i think that'd be pretty sick we'll even add earth ego and other bays that were in metal fury so we have all of the legendary bladers in the mystery bag but to be honest i think the bay with the highest chance against dewey uranus would have to be diablo nemesis i mean ah uh, it's gonna be hard man so we're gonna go ahead and leave diablo nemesis as the last bay blade to go up against the uranus so make sure you guys stay tuned in for the end of the video because at the end we will be having Diablo Nemesis go up against Dual Uranus at a chance to beat him. We're going to leave him on the side right here. But other than that, let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. All right, the first bait going up against Dual Uranus will be the one and the only Big Bang Pegasus. All right, sweet. Go shoot. Three, two, one. Go shoot. So we're going to do two rounds for each bay, and we're going to switch the modes for the bays. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. We have Big Bang Pegasus starting it off, the Clutch King himself. So it would be nice to get a knockout for uh, Big Bang Pegasus. Maybe on final drive. Ooh, ooh, oh yes! Let's go starting it off with a knockout. You got to love it, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna leave Big Bang Pegasus on this mode. It's obviously insane. Go shoot, arguably the best mode. All right, go shoot. All right, can he get two in a row? That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. Come on, just please, please. Please, Pegasus. Ah, oh, yes. We're starting this episode amazing. Big Bang Pegasus knocking out the Uranus. Let's go. Man, Final Drive is absolutely insane. I think they did great building this bay. But, ah, oh, absolutely tanked by the Uranus. All right, well. Hey, at least we got a knockout. At least we got a knockout. Some nice uppercuts, but nothing enough. Oh, really good uppercuts. Wait, what? Wait. Yo, those last... Wait. Those uppercuts were insane. Oh! A draw! I believe that was a draw. There's no way. Go shoot! Go shoot! All right, not gonna lie, guys. I don't know what's going on right now. We are supposed to start this off with, you know, everybody getting absolutely destroyed, but the exact opposite is happening. Uh, Big Bang Pegasus, the Clutch King, is just clutching up right now. Like he, I mean, hey, he always clutch. Yeah, you know what? It's Pegasus. What am I saying, guys? I gotta put respect on Pegasus's name. Uh, but it looks like Final Drive was not effective at all. All right. It might be rats, ladies and gentlemen. But hey, not bad at all, honestly. Not bad at all. Big Bang Pegasus got a nice knockout on Uranus. Wow. All right, respect to Pegasus, guys. Everybody say W Pegasus in the comments. Say W Pegasus in the comments. Let's go. That's awesome. All right, next up, we have the one and the only Flash Sagittario on attack mode. We'll go ahead and start it off on attack mode, then we'll move to stamina after. Go shoot. Go, oh, go shoot. So honestly, Flash Sagittario, you know, I mean, he doesn't have a height disadvantage to the same height. 
And hey, he has some good attack power. So hey, that'd be pretty interesting if he can, you know, knock out Duranus as well. Man, that would be funny, bro. Starting this off with the first two bays knocking out Duranus, uh, that'd be hilarious. Dang it, man, that would've been perfect. But hey, flash, nothing too big going on. No crazy hits. All right, kind of a letdown, but hey, it's cool. It's cool. All right, sweet. So Duranus will be taking that. Go shoot. Go shoot. All right, we're gonna do one more attack mode and then we'll switch off to uh, stamina mode. Come on, Flash. It would be nice if Flash can get one knockout. Come on. Oh, I thought that was gonna be it. I don't know why I thought that was gonna be it. Uh, Flash is such an awesome base. Just damn, D Uranus has so much stam. D Uranus is an absolute tank. And I would say he has a high advantage, but he doesn't, obviously, because he is going against uh, Flash. So, I don't know. Oh, he's like the exact opposite of uh, Flash. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and switch uh, Flash Sagittario to his stamina mode. Let's see if he can do any better. Flash Sagittario is now on uh, his stamina mode. Go shoot. Let him rip. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Imagine he knocked him out on his stamina mode, which is what he should have done on his attack mode. That would, been, that, that would be pretty funny, honestly. Yo, he's actually, have, he has some nice smash attacks, yo. He's not on attack mode, but he's definitely doing a lot better on attacking Do Uranus. He's pushed him back a lot more than he did the previous rounds. Come on, Flash. Maybe he can outstamp him, I don't know. It, it would be pretty interesting to see that happen. It's gonna be really hard. I don't know how he pulled it off, but hey, maybe he will. Come on. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. All right, looks like Dewey Randis will be taking this. All right, so we're gonna move on. By the way, at the end of the episode, after we fight Diablo Nemesis, we're also gonna do a battle royale with all the days. That'll be pretty awesome. All right, we have Phantom Orion. So, so far we have three season bladers in a row. It'll be funny if we got all the season bladers before we get to the, uh, to the solar system days. Go shoot. Hey, what do you guys like saying better? Go shoot or let it rip? I've done a couple of pulls in this, but, uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know, I like saying go shoot. I remember one, two, three, four, baby, growing up watching him. He used to always say it, it just, it kind of just, I just stuck with it, you know? But, uh, I mean, I like saying let it rip too, you know? Just like in the show, it's, it, I guess it's more, it's more OG, you know, it's more original. But especially when you're doing a marathon, you don't want to keep saying let it rip, let it rip, let it rip. I'd rather say go shoot, go shoot. I don't know, it's just personal preference. But hey, let me know what you guys think about that. But uh, hey, Phantom Ryan versus uh, Dewey Uranus. So far, so good. As you guys know, Phantom Ryan is one of the best stamina type baits out there. But for some reason, Dewey Uranus just always outspins him. It's crazy. Come on. Ugh. Well, it's not crazy. He has really good stam as well. But he just sends an insane barrage of attacks on Phantom Ryan, which just slowly decreases his stam, you know. But, uh, hey, we're going to switch Phantom Ryan to his attack mode. Actually, you know, a lot of you guys don't know this, and I know a few people in the comment section below, they're always like, why does nobody ever use this mode? Nobody knows about it. But, uh, hey, we are going to go ahead and put him on attack mode. So you want to flip it like that. Boom. Boom. I, I don't really know how effective it is, honestly. I mean, I guess we're about to find out. Uh, I never used it because the times I did use it, uh, it wasn't really the best, but uh, hey, we'll see what happens. Go shoot! Go shoot! Alright, let's see if Phantom Ryan on attack mode is uh, any any good. Alright. So, so far, so, yo, hold up, what? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I might have to make a video of like five things you didn't know about Beyblades and put Phantom Ryan's attack mode in it. Yo! Phantom Ryan is getting insane uppercuts right now. Hold up, he might win this. Bro, no way. We just found an insane counter. Do Uranus? Oh, let's go! Hold up. Run it back. Run it back. Go shoot. Go shoot. Hold up, because it is it is kind of like flipped. And he can just get some nice uppercuts. Ooh, wow. Bro. Oh my gosh, Phantom Ryan is insane on his attack mode. Hold up. This is actually insane. No way. I think he has like less stamina on this mode, but obviously the attack makes up for it. So if you're going against base like Dewey Uranus, for example, it's just perfect. Wait. Ooh, that was a nice uppercut. More towards the end. Oh wow, it's so effective on Dewey Uranus. Yo, no way. 
All right, do your readings one at this time. But damn, that was not bad. That was not bad. That is actually really interesting. I like it. All right, sweet. So, uh, hey, we're gonna move on to the next bay. I swear, if we get another legendary blader, that'll be insane. Oh my gosh, we got four season bladers. bladers in a row. What is going on? All right, sweet. So, hey, let's see what happens. Go shoot. Whoa. All right. Nice barrage of attacks from Drew Uranus. He's just going all around, just slowly attacking him with that height advantage. Wow. This is like an anime battle, I swear. This is like, look how smart this is. He's just going around, going around, attacking all his angles. It's pretty cool, actually. But yeah, slowly but surely, he ends up knocking out Fangleon. I think Fangleon on counter mode will do a lot better because I feel like he would, he would get some nasty uppercuts on uh, Duty Reynus. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and switch him to his uh, counter mode. Let's see if it's more effective. I feel like it is, honestly. All right. Boom, just like that. And then boom. Man, honestly, I feel like Fangleon with a WD tip would have been way better. You just He would have had slightly more stamina which would have made him slightly better, you know? But hey, that's just what I'm saying. And it's like, you know, I can put the WD on him, but it wasn't the one from the show, so I wouldn't. Go shoot! Go shoot! So yeah, I feel like Fang Leon on counter mode is definitely gonna get some nice uh, undercuts. Not undercuts, oh, uh, what am I saying? Uh, uppercuts. Just like uh, Phantom Iron did on his attack mode. So this should be interesting, but uh, I guess we'll have to see who takes it. You see, you see? He's digging right under that fusion wheel. Come on, but he's just dodging on the attacks. There you go. Oh man, if he connects more hits, it would have been effective, but now he's just losing Stam. Bro, I swear, it's like, do Uranus is like, just, he just knows what to do. He knows that those fangs are lethal. He doesn't want beef, he doesn't want the smoke. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do though. You see, look how, look how effective that was. He hit him like five times, like five good uppercuts, and look how low he is. Damn. All right, not bad, but uh, hey, that is four in a row, I swear. Wait, okay, finally, a solar system bay. Woo! All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's get to it, guys. Go shoot! We'll start him off on attack mode. Go shoot! That'd be nice if Varyaris can get a nice knockout. I can see that, honestly. Oh, nice! Let's go! All right, representing from the solar system bay, ladies and gentlemen, we have Varyaris. Nice! All right, not bad, not bad at all. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and do his defense mode. And no one uses his stamina mode, probably because nobody used it in the show, but it's kind of whack, not gonna lie, I don't like it. But uh, hey, moving on to the next round. Go shoot! I definitely think he's gonna lose on his defense mode. Go shoot! <clears throat> all right. Unless he gets a nice counter attack, which would be pretty dope, but other than that, there is no way he wins this against the Uranus, like, ah, man. But hey, nice, not bad. There he is, knocking out Uranus. You love to see it, guys. You love to see it. Come oh, on, come on. Hey, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite Beyblade from Metal Fury is. Or what your favorite Legendary Bader is, actually. That'd be even more interesting. Come on, come on. Hey, and one of, we did we recently did an episode where we had all the Diablo henchmen against Diablo Nemesis. Man, let me say, that was so fun. That was actually, that was pretty dope. Come on. Come on. Come on. We, we know who's going to win this. Actually, Varyaris has some good stamina, not gonna lie. I wasn't expecting it to last this long. Damn. Yo, Varyaris with the Blader Spirit. What's going on? That is actually crazy. Wow. All of these bays are impressing me today, I swear. I mean, they are called Legendary Bladers for a reason, guys. Come on. Where's the respect? <gasps> Bro. Bro. Oh my gosh. I was about to say, there is no way Varyaris was about to win that. Wow. That was crazy. All right, next up, we have Death Quetzalcoatl on his attack mode. Go shoot! Go shoot! All right, Death Quetzalcoatl versus Do Your Raiders. Honestly, I like saying Ice Titan. I'm just gonna say Ice Titan, but I'm pretty sure Ice Titan is uh, the Hasbro name, but I don't know, Do Your Raiders is kind of boring. I like Ice Titan. I'm just gonna call it Ice Titan, because in the show, I'm pretty sure that was, that's what it was called anyways. All right, let's see what you got, Ice Titan. Come on. Oh man, I gotta. What am I gonna name the title of this episode? Do Uranus versus the Legendary Bladers or Ice Titan versus the Legendary Bladers? Damn, I like that. I like Ice Titan better. Not gonna lie, I like Ice Titan uh, a lot better. It sounds cooler. But uh, hey, let's use and win this. After this, we're gonna switch Death Kotokoro to his defense mode, by the way. Alright? Easy win. Yeah, Death Kotokoro is not the best fight for uh, 
Dude, Uranus, I'm being honest with you guys. It's a, an amazing bay, but dang, Dude, Uranus is just a hard counter. I will say, Death Plus Koto is an absolutely insane balance type. He has amazing defense. Great counterattacks too, but let's see what happens. So I always get asked where I get my Beyblades from, and I have a solution for you guys. So if you click any one of our videos, go to the description below, click the link tree. You'll be taken to a page with all of our socials. One of our socials is Bay Station. We recently partnered up with this Bay shop. It is absolutely amazing. We have Beyblades from Metal Fusion, Metal Masters, Metal Fury. We have Burst Beyblades. We have String Launchers and Attachments. All orders will be shipped on the same business day. So that means your product will be delivered to your front doorstep very quickly. We have one of the best return products policies out there, you have up to 60 days, that's two months, to decide whether or not you want to return your product. Maybe you didn't like the product, maybe you wanted another Beyblade instead of that one, maybe you weren't satisfied, but guess what? You can go ahead and return it, and the best part about it is that we will be paying for the shipping of returns. We guarantee 100% of your money back within those 60 days. I'm actually going to be ordering Storm Pegasus and Lightning No Drago, both of these bays are insane. We have rivals right here, both bays come with string launchers, so we're going to test the quality on the bays and the string launchers. Once you guys are at the checkout, you'll be taken to this page where you can put my discount code my discount code is the geoverse remember use code the geoverse for a discount on bay station bay station is only available in the usa send me a picture of you using my code on instagram or discord and i will give you a free discord roll go shoot go shoot all right oh nice Hey, I can see some potential, uh, uh, what's it called? Some potential uppercuts. Man, a lot of these uh, solar system bays and list I mean, not solar system bays, a lot of these legendary bladers have like pretty good, you know, they're built pretty good for uppercuts against like top bays, like do your range. Come on. Damn, that was pretty clutch by Big Bang Pegasus at the beginning of the episode where he like uppercutted do your I still haven't forgot about that. That was pretty sick. Come on. Yeah, there's just no way, man. Death Kotsukoto, I just, I just, how is he gonna ever win this against the Uranus? It's crazy. It's an amazing day, but damn, it's just a perfect counter for uh, Death Kotsukoto. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, he just stalls him out. All right, sweet. Next up, uh, let's see what we got, guys. We have, let's see, Scythe Kronos versus Uranus. All right, stamina versus stamina. Go shoot. Go shoot. So, oh wow. Yo. An insane barrage of attack. Yo. Wow. That's crazy. As you guys know, Scythe Kronos has this like uh this frame, this that energy ring that's purple, and it's actually free spinning, it moves. So every time it gets hit, it's not Scythe Kronos getting hit, it's just the energy the energy ring getting hit. So it's pretty effective against the Uranus, as you can see. But he's still hitting his top energy ring, so it's kind of draining him. Alright, we'll give it one more chance and then we'll see what happens. Go oh, shoot! Go oh, shoot! Alright, let's see if uh Scythe Kronos can get him this time. All right, so far so good. Come on, come on. Keep it going, keep it going. Nice. Man, you'd think that this fight wouldn't be as aggressive as it is, but damn. Come on. Oh, let me fix this right here. I got a little closer to see the fight. It's funny. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. So far, so good. Come on. Science Kronos. You got this. Uh, he's trying to go for the uppercuts. He's trying to go for it, but he can't reach it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dang it. Come on, come on, come on. I think it might be wraps, guys. It might be wraps. Wait. Oh, he's trying so hard. Yep, it's not It's not going to work out, man. Hey, good try, though. Good try, good try. And all right, your ace will be taking it. All right, guys. Next up, we have the one and the only. This should be interesting. Let's see who takes it. Go shoot! Go shoot! Honestly, guys, uh, Anubis is a really rare bay and a really expensive bay. But what I don't get is like, for example, J Jupiter is really expensive and really rare, but it's actually a top tier defense bay. Anubis, on the other hand, listen, you may like Anubis and stuff. I respect it. I think it's a pretty cool looking bay, but damn, guys, it's just not the best bay, if I'm being honest. I mean, 
Yuki, the show, he had a great role in uh, Metal Fury. You know, he he uh, he regrouped all the legendary bladers, which was really important. But I don't know, man. I just I don't know. In the show, he had like times where he popped off, but uh, real life, it's just he doesn't perform the best. Go shoot! Go shoot! I mean, I don't know, man. We're gonna have to probably do an episode on Yuki. Maybe give him a chance to uh, redeem himself, but he usually just doesn't perform the best, guys, if I'm being honest. At least he doesn't scrape in the BB10 stadium, though. I don't know how he doesn't. He's so short. It's crazy. He's probably one of the shortest bays. Man, I gotta do a battery with all the shortest bays. That'd be pretty funny. All right, so there's just no chance Anubis wins this against the Uranus. He's just too light. He does not have stamina. So any second now, look how look how focused the Uranus is. Look at that. Look at that. Going against Fang Leon, he wants to dodge, but going against Anubis, he's just in the middle because he knows there's nothing there's nothing Anubis can do. All right, sweet. So moving on to the next bay, we have let's see. All right, we have a Drago Destructor, and as you can see, I painted the energy ring because the stickers came off. I painted it once again, but uh, hey, let's see who takes it. Big Bang Pegasus knocked out Uranus, which means his reputation is on the line. He needs to win this. Go shoot! Go shoot! You need to win this! Yes! Yes! The Dragon Emperor takes it, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Woo! Let's go! All right, let's see if he can get two in a row. Let's see if he can get two in a row. Go shoot! Go shoot! Two in a row, come on! Two in a row? Two in a row? Yes! No! Oh, that was so close! Dang it, he was about to just give him a huge attack there, but he just smacked him against the wall. Ah, oh, no! All right, guys, looks like Odrago is doing a little bit of tornado stalling. Do Uranus is doing the smartest thing he can do. He's just in the middle trying to avoid Odrago until he calms down. All right. So a lot of you guys say that uh, FS, Final Survive, isn't the best. I mean, I think it could be better, but honestly, it does what it, it does what it's supposed to do. Because he does absorb just like Meteor Drago and pretty much until the end. I will say, though, Meteor Drago definitely absorbs better. But uh, that's pretty much just because more uh, rubber is exposed. I don't even know if he's in absorb mode. I hear a lot of metal. I hear, like, no rubber at all. No, he has to be because he's still spinning somehow. But let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, 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 ah, not bad. That was pretty close. But yeah, El Drago, not bad, not bad. All right. Moving on to the last legendary blader until we get to Diablo and the Mrs. at the end, of course, like promised. We have J Jupiter, one of the rarest bays out there in real life. Very expensive, very rare. But unlike Anubis, he actually performs amazing. Amazing defense. I gotta say, I love J Jupiter. It's a beautiful bay as well. All right, guys, let's see if J Jupiter has any chance against Uranus. Go shoot! Go shoot! All right, J Jupiter starting this off very aggressive. Very aggressive. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. Pretty soon he's gonna be delivering some nice attacks. Come on, come on. Where's it at? Where's it at? There you go. There you go. Going for the center. Time to fight for the center of the stadium, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready. Jay Jupiter needs to look for the uppercut. Yep, yeah, there it is, there it is. Good job, good job. Jay Jupiter doing very well with those uppercuts. Yep, come on, get under there. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, he needs to get under there. That's like the only way to do it. If you can start it off with some nice uppercuts into Uranus and get him off balance, then you'll be chilling. Well, you would not be chilling, but you'll just have a higher chance, but. Uh, just like that, do Uranus is back up. Oh, no. It was a good attempt. It was a good attempt, but it is not. No, wait. Oh, hold up. Uh oh. No way. No way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. What? No way. J. Jupiter is crazy. Oh, I don't even know. Which is, uh, uh, who won that? Oh, we need to get a slow mo on that. We need to get a slow mo on that. That was crazy. Go shoot! Go shoot! All right, guys, the last battle. Oh, huge attack from J. Jupiter. Oh, yo, yo, yo. What is going on right now? J. Jupiter is going crazy. Yo, I am so impressed right now. I was not expecting J. Jupiter to do this well. Wow. There is no, yo. We might have to read you that top five strongest babies in the world list, guys, because 
Yo, I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Woo! All right, this is gonna be epic, guys. After this, we are gonna do Diablo Nemesis against Dual Uranus. We're gonna do three modes. The normal mode, the normal mode on attack mode, and then his ultimate balance mode. So three rounds, but let's see, let's see who takes this round. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, is it gonna be a draw? Wow. Absolutely insane. Oh, I think Dewey Rain is barely ticking, but hey, not bad, not bad at all. Honestly, I'd love to see this as an attack combo. That could be pretty cool. Also, guys, I'm gonna be hosting a Beyblade combo tournament, one on Discord and one on YouTube. So if you guys haven't already, I highly suggest you guys join our Discord server, put in your combo there, or you can put in your combo in the comment section below. You'll have a higher chance in joining the tournament if you do it by Discord. But let me know your metal fight combo in the comment section below. Time to have the album Nemesis versus Do Uranus. Let's get to it. Go shoot! Go shoot! All right, all right, let's see, let's see. Oh, so far it's two hits. Three, four. All right, listen guys, if you want to get past Diablo Nemesis on attack mode, you just got to get past them first four hits, man. I'm telling you, man, those first two, three, four hits are the most critical. If you can get past it, you'll be good. That's why Do Uranus is so good, man. He's like one of the only few bays that can get past that. I'm pretty sure Jay Jupiter and Death Clips Dakota can probably get past it, honestly. They're insane, man. They have absolutely insane defense. But uh, hey, other than that, it looks like the one and the only I just tied it. We'll be taking this easily with flying colors. Let's go. All right, guys. Looks like we're going to be moving on to Diablo's normal mode, which is his stamina mode. Boom. All right, guys. Let's see if Diablo can do any better. Shoot. Go shoot. You see me rolling. The hey, time. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Diablo Nemesis with the nice brunt attacks on Eyes Titan. Will he be taking this battle, this victory, and this 1v1 against the one and the only Eyes Titan? That's right, ICE Space Titan. Come on, come on, come on. Nice, nice, nice. Is it enough? It doesn't look like it's enough. Nice brunt attacks. Almost knocking out Eyes Titan, but it's not enough. Come on. Come on. Woo! So far, so good. No one's gonna be winning it. I mean, what am I saying? Uh, I said he's gonna be winning it. Yes, easy, easy, easy. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and switch the album Nemesis to his ultimate balance mode. Boom, boom. Boom. We are creating the ultimate balance. The Diablo Nemesis. I always did this mode wrong, but I'm pretty sure you have to start it on an attack mode. But uh, hey, let's see what happens, guys. Go shoot. Go shoot. Ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate balance one has arrived. Let's see if Diablo Nemesis take it. Come on, come on, come on. Can Diablo take it? Can Diablo take it? Can Diablo take it? Oh! 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 I don't know. I don't know. Come on, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Come on. So far, so good. All right. It looks like we have a clear winner. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up to the one and the only Ice Titan, Titan of Ice, Do Uranus. All right, sweet, not bad. We'll do one more. Go shoot. Go shoot. Come on. Come on. Nice. Nice. Come on. Yes. Wow. Come on, there's no way. Bro, Ice Titan is a beast. It's a beast! Oh! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Nice, nice. All right. I don't know, man. Ooh, big hits. I mean, hey, Diablo had some really good hits, but nothing enough. All right, and D-Range will be taking it. Let's shoot! Let's shoot! Let's shoot! Versus Vulcan Crucius versus Death 
Quetzalcoatl versus Twisted Temple slash Michelle Hirogian. Let me know in the comment section below what bonus round request we should do for the next episode. Time to start the bonus round request. If you guys want to have access to insane perks, for example, being able to have a guaranteed spot in any tournament, whether it's on YouTube or Discord, I highly suggest you guys join one of our memberships. We have four levels. The first level is 99 cents a month. It is TG Blader. With level one, you have access to emotes and badges that you can use in the comments and in the live streams. With level two, which is community TG Bladers, for $2 a month, you'll have access to everything level one has access to, but it's insane, guys. You will literally have a guaranteed spot in every community tournament, whether it's a YouTube tournament or a Discord tournament. Level three is TG Legendary Blader. For $4 a month, you'll have access to everything level one has, everything level two has, plus four additional perks. And last but not least, we have our final level, level four, which is TG Super Saiyan Blader, $25 a month, but you'll have a chance at YouTube mod discord mod you will be the most powerful race in the multiverse you are a super sane blader i will be following you on every single social that i own and you will also be able to make your own custom discord role but most importantly you'll be supporting your homie geo and the tg family if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to see when we open a daily video. Last round. So we God bless you all and see you guys on the next one. Do one, let it rip. Go shoot. Go shoot. Go shoot.